Hi, welcome to the course. I'm Silvana. I designed this course and I will be your course tutor over the next 10 weeks. I'm a sociologist and I've been involved in working with qualitative data since the mid-1970s. So that means I predate all this software. I learned the traditional way with color-coded index cards, colored pens, loads and loads of papers, and elaborate filing systems. I became interested in software that could support analyzing qualitative data back in the early 1990s. I was director of the graduate research training course at Cranfield School of Management then, and I was introducing the doctoral students there to some of these packages. I became absolutely fascinated by the methodological implications these these packages seem to have. So I resigned my post in 1997 and since then I've been running my own little business, STG Associates, where I just specialize in training and consulting in a range of packages that support the analysis of qualitative data. My objective for this course is to support people who find themselves rather isolated in their own institutions in terms of what support they can have if they are using uh, software to uh, help them analyze qualitative data. Research can be a lonely business anyway, but with uh, using software tools uh, such as these, you often find that you might be the only one in your department using them and you really need more support. I run training uh, which involve two-day workshops to get people started, but I am very aware that that is not enough, that people need support throughout the analysis process as they use different elements of their software tools. I've designed this course so it doesn't matter which software package you use, whether it's Atlas TI, MaxQDA, NVivo, or any other package. You have to go through the same analysis process, whatever package you use. You have to be able to represent the design of your research accurately in your package. And it is the same whatever package you use. The three packages look very different. They have different strengths and weaknesses, but by and large, you can do most things in all three packages, and they are becoming more and more alike. The focus of this course is on the analysis process, and to help you to think critically about your use of the software, and that is where we're going to start. We're going to start by looking at different perspectives on software use. It's still not totally accepted by the academic community. Um, it's rather contentious still. Um, and I find that people who are suspicious of the software often are suspicious because they're not sure how a computer program can support the analysis of qualitative data. And also, for people who have a well-worked way of analyzing their qualitative data, it is quite a commitment to transition to using software. There is a lot of relearning that people have to do. I hope you have a good time on the course. I'm trying to encourage the development of a research community among you. Even though you are working on your own projects, you are going through the same analysis process. And I hope that you will comment on each other's work and help each other and share the difficulties that you are going through. So, good luck and welcome again. Thank you.